Bridget. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. For today's video, I'm extremely excited because we are actually doing a collab video with Lou from Lou's Little Zoo. So in today's collab video with Lou, we have decided to both do a makeup look inspired by one of our pets. We went back and forth a couple times on which animal we wanted to do, and we both decided to do a makeup look inspired by our frogs. So Lou has a tomato frog, and I have a chubby frog. So we thought it'd be really fun to try and mimic their color schemes just a little bit with makeup. Her tomato frog has a lot of reds and oranges and things, and then my chubby frog has a lot of chocolate browns and black. I did my best in trying to mimic the color scheme of her. I didn't do as well as I wanted to, originally, but it's okay. I still had a lot of fun and I think that you guys will enjoy watching this video. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into this collab video with Lou. Please make sure you check her out. I will have everything for her linked down below, of course. I will also have her video for this collab linked in the description as well. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so I've already gotten all of my face makeup done. As you can see, that's not the important part, so I went ahead and did it. I am also very, very dry right now, so if my skin looks crusty and crepey. Just don't judge me. All right, I look absolutely insane, but we are just going to go ahead and get started. So the stuff I'm going to be using today, I have this Morphe palette right here, which is old. It's the 35W. Here's what it looks like right here. It is like really, really old. It came out a long time ago. It could be expired uh, now that I think about it, but I'm just gonna continue to use it and go with it. And then I also have like an array of random loose shadows that I put in here, just like my favorites. They're all like mixed in terms of brand and everything. So like, I'm not gonna go through like which shadow I'm using. I'm just gonna go through colors basically. Otherwise I'd have to be taking everything out and telling you the brand and stuff. Yeah, so what I wanna do first is lay down like a really nice light matte color just to give my eyes a little bit of a base. me in just a little bit as well. Is that better? Maybe not. I don't know. I'm just, you know, let's just ignore that I did that. Okay. And then more of like a tan kind of color and just kind of put that all over my crease. go into like this mustardy kind of shade just because she has tannish orange kind of band color going on with her. I don't really know if I like that. I don't feel like it goes with her whatsoever. So I'm gonna use the same brush, but I'm gonna go into this darker color that I have kind of next to it and kind of mix those two together a bit. gave me the color that I wanted. Now I need to kind of start darkening up. I'm kind of not off to a good start, so I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're just gonna keep on going. I'm taking like a really, really deep chocolate brown color. And I'm gonna stamp it over here. And then start to bring it into my crease. Actually, I'm gonna take a smaller brush now, more dense brush, nothing on it, and start to blend out these little edges here. Maybe, I don't know, I'm gonna take a clean, fluffy brush that I had before. And then because I need to do the same thing on the other side, I'm gonna have to use this big fluffy brush again. What I want to do is um, I want to take like a really, really dark brown. That was already pretty dark, but I need like a darker one. I think I did 
something. Did that do something? We got a little of that orange color. We got a little of this dark color. It's not as brown as I wanted. I don't know. Now I might screw it up, <laughs> but I think I want to put like a brownish color all over my lid, like a sparkly something. I feel like that could be something that I could do to represent her. I'm gonna put this all over my lid without doing anything else on my lid. That's what I'm gonna do. I think that turned out pretty good. I'm gonna take a little bit of this brown NYX liner. What's the shade? Brown. And I'm just gonna do a little bit in my waterline. I'm gonna take this little brush slider shade that we used earlier. And I'm gonna take this like shiny color. I know what this one is. This is Shimma Shimma by Makeup Geek, my favorite. And we're gonna highlight up here. And then I'm gonna take mascara all right and that is gonna be it for the eyes I think they turned out pretty good now we're gonna move on to the lips and I found this really like I don't it's kind of like a warm tone brown color that I thought would go with her pretty well we're gonna go ahead and find out you can't even see my lips okay there maybe you guys can see my lips now You guys this is the finished look I went with kind of a mix between cool tone and warm tone colors because she does have both in her body the eyes I think turned out pretty good not as close to her as I wanted them to but I really like them personally I think that it definitely shows like her rich chocolate browns and her little bit of shininess and I think that the lips turned out really really good so yeah that is my finished look I hope you guys enjoyed watching me put it on yeah let's do a few close-up shots so you guys can see I'm gonna get into my little inner beauty guru and do some dramatic angles and then we'll close out the video. That wraps up another day of Vlogmas doing my makeup inspired by my chubby frog putty. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this collab and that you guys go check out Lou from Lou's Little Zoo. She is such a lovely person. I adore her so much and I know that you guys will too. So please check her out. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video, please give us a big thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.